Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan Hindi, Sarva Siksha Abhiyana Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, English, Education for All Movement, or SSA, is an Indian government program aimed at the universalization of elementary education, in a time-bound manner. As mandated by the 86th Amendment to the Constitution of India making free and compulsory education to children between the ages of 7 to 14 estimated to be 205 million children in 2001 a fundamental right. The program was pioneered by former Indian Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee. History As an intervention program, it started on 2002 and SSA has been operational since 2000-2001. However, its roots go back to 1993–1994, when the District Primary Education Program DPEP was launched, with an aim of achieving the objective of universal primary education. DPEP, over several phases, covered 272 districts in 18 states of the country. The expenditure on the program was shared by the central government and the state governments. The central share was funded by a number of external agencies, including the World Bank, Department for International Development and UNICEF. By 2001, more than $1,500 million had been committed to the program, and 50 million children covered in its ambit. In an impact assessment of Phase 1 of DPEP, the authors concluded that its net impact on minority children was impressive, while there was little evidence of any impact on the enrollment of girls. Nevertheless, they concluded that the investment in DPEP was not a waste, because it introduced a new approach to primary school interventions in India. The Right to Education Act RTE came into force on 1 April 2010. Some educationists and policy makers believe that, with the passing of this act, SSA has acquired the necessary legal force for its implementation. <laughs> Funds In 2011-12, the Government of India allocated 21,000 crore rupees for this project. Features Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan SSA is a program for universal elementary education. This program is also an attempt to provide an opportunity for improving human capabilities to all children through provision of community-owned quality education in a mission mode. It is a response to the demand for quality basic education all over the country. Topic Padi Bharat Body Bharat Padi Bharat Body Bharat is a nationwide sub-program of Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan. Children who fail to read in early education lag behind in other subjects. The program is designed to improve comprehensive early reading, writing, and early mathematics program for children in classes I and II. Under this program, 762 crore rupees, 110 million dollars, was approved to states. The program will not only provide print-rich environment, timely distribution of books but will also include new teacher mentoring and appraisal system. SSA has been operational since 2000-2001 to provide for a variety of interventions for universal access and retention, bridging of gender and social category gaps in elementary education and improving the quality of learning. SSA interventions include inter alia, opening of new schools and alternate schooling facilities, construction of schools and additional classrooms, toilets and drinking water, provisioning for teachers, regular teacher in service training and academic resource support, free textbooks and uniforms and support for improving learning achievement levels, outcome. With the passage of the RTE Act, changes have been incorporated into the SSA approach, strategies and norms. The changes encompass the vision and approach to elementary education, guided by the following principles, holistic view of education, as interpreted in the National Curriculum Framework 2005, with implications for a systemic revamp of the entire content and process of education with significant implications for curriculum, teacher education, educational planning and management. Equity, to mean not only equal opportunity, but also creation of conditions in which the disadvantaged sections of the society, children of SC, street, Muslim minority, landless agricultural workers and children with special needs, etc. can avail of the opportunity. 
Access, not to be confined to ensuring that a school becomes accessible to all children within specified distance but implies an understanding of the educational needs and predicament of the traditionally excluded categories, the SC, street and others sections of the most disadvantaged groups, the Muslim minority, girls in general, and children with special needs. Gender concern, implying not only an effort to enable girls to keep pace with boys but to view education in the perspective spelled out in the National Policy on Education 1986 90 seconds, i.e. a decisive intervention to bring about a basic change in the status of women. Centrality of teacher, to motivate them to innovate and create a culture in the classroom, and beyond the classroom, that might produce an inclusive environment for children, especially for girls from oppressed and marginalized backgrounds. Moral compulsion is imposed through the RTE Act on parents, teachers, educational administrators and other stakeholders, rather than shifting emphasis on punitive processes. Convergent and integrated system of educational management is prerequisite for implementation of the RTE law. All states must move in that direction as speedily as feasible provide quality elementary education including life skills with a special focus on the education of girls and children with special needs as well as computer education. Other similar initiatives by NGOs There are several non-government organizations NGOs, which are also progressively working in the direction of the upliftment of children, especially in the field of health and education. To name a few of these organizations, partnering Hope Into Action Foundation, FIA Foundation, Center for Unfolding Learning Potentials Culp, Smile Foundation, Pratham, Project Nanhai Kali, Relief India Trust, Ashray Society and Reforms India, Plan India, Childhood Enhancement Through Training and Action Chetna and the Qualiterate Movement. Since 30 years Janavanyana Vedika conducting Chekamuki Science Talent Test to improve scientific temper among students. Over 10, 000 students participate every year. Integration In 2018, Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan along with Rashtriya Madhyamik Shiksha Abhiyan was launched to form Samagra Shiksha Abhiyan. <laughs> 